Purepacha aka Purepacha, P U A Pet, A, Fore, Forepacha, often called Tarascan, Spanish, Tarasco, is a language isolate or small language family that is spoken by a quarter million Purepacha in the highlands of Michoacan, Mexico. Purepacha was the main language of the pre Columbian Tarascan state and became widespread in northwestern Mexico during its heyday in the late post classic period. The small town of Pureparo got its name from the indigenous people who lived there. Other groups that existed then were the Aztec and the Maya. C.A. 1400 to 1521. Even though it is spoken within the boundaries of Mesoamerica, Purepacha does not share many of the traits defining the Mesoamerican language area. Classification Purepacha has long been classified as a language isolate unrelated to any other known language. That judgment is repeated in Lyle Campbell's authoritative classification. Joseph Greenberg assigned it to the Chipchan language family, but like the rest of his American classification, that proposal is rejected by specialists. There are a number of dialects, which SIL International divides into two languages, but Campbell 1997, considers Purepacha to be a single language. Demography the language is spoken mostly in rural communities in the highlands of Michoacán. The former center of the Tarascan state was around Lake Pátzcuaro and remains an important center of the Purépecha community. Ethnologue counts Purépecha as two languages, a central language, spoken by approximately 40,000 people 2005, around Pátzcuaro, and a western highland language, spoken by 135,000 speakers 2005, around Zamora, Los Reyes de Salgado, Paracho de Verduzco, and Pamatacuaro, all of which are in the vicinity of the volcano Paracutan. Recent migration has formed communities of speakers in the cities of Guadalajara, Tijuana and Mexico City and in the United States. The total population of speakers is rising from 58,000 in 1960 to 96,000 in 1990 and 120,000 in 2000, but the percentage of speakers relative to non-speakers is falling, and the degree of bilingualism is rising, which makes it an endangered language. Fewer than 10% of speakers are now monolingual. History The Purepacha are known to have migrated from elsewhere to their current location, as their tradition includes stories of having traveled from the Pacific Ocean to their current locations. Ethnohistorical accounts mention them as a people dwelling in the same region of Michoacán they live in now as early as the 13th century. According to the Relacion de Michoacán, the communities around Lake Pátzcuaro were gathered into the strong Purépecha Stiat by the leader of the Uacusecha group of Purépecha speakers, Tariacori. Around 1300, he undertook the first conquests of other and installed his sons Haripan and Tangahoan as lords of Iwatzio and Sinsunsan respectively while he himself ruled from Pátzcuaro City. By the time of the death of Tariacori, in around 1350, his lineage was in control of all the major centers around Lake Pátzcuaro. His son Haripan continued the expansion into the area surrounding Lake Quitseo. In 1460 the Purépecha state reached the Pacific coast at Zacatula, advanced into the Toluca Valley, and also, on the northern rim, reached into the present-day state of Guanajuato. In the 15th century, the Purépecha state was at war with the Aztecs. Many Nahua peoples who had lived side by side with Purepecha speakers were relocated outside of the Tarascan frontiers, and Otomi speakers fleeing the Aztec expansion resettled on the border between the two polities. That created a fairly homogeneous area of Purepecha speakers, with no other languages spoken in the core area around Lake Pátzcuaro. During the Spanish conquest of the Aztec Empire, the Purépecha state was at first peacefully incorporated into the realm of New Spain, but with the killing of Kazanchi Tangishan II by Nuno de Guzman, the relation became one of Spanish dominance by force. Exceptions were the hospital communities of Vasco de Quiroga, such as Santa Fe de la Laguna, where Purépecha could live with a degree of protection from Spanish domination. Through Spanish friars, the Purépecha learned to write in the Latin script, and Purépecha became a literary language in the early colonial period. There is a body of written sources in Purépecha from the period, including several dictionaries, confessionaries, and land titles. 
Among the most important colonial works are the Grammar 1558 and Dictionary 1559 of Fray Matarino Gilberti, and the Grammar and Dictionary 1574 by Juan Baptista de Lagunas from ca. 1700. The status of Purépecha changed, and throughout the 20th century, the Mexican government pursued a policy of Hispanicization. Speakers of indigenous languages were actively encouraged to abandon their languages in favor of Spanish. However, in accord with international changes in favor of recognizing the linguistic rights of indigenous peoples and promoting multiculturalism in colonial states, the Congress of the Union of Mexico approved the General Law of Linguistic Rights of the Indigenous Peoples in 2003, giving Purépecha and Mexico's other indigenous languages official status as national languages. Orthography The official alphabet is the Purépecha Jimbo Kararakuecha Purépecha alphabet ABCHCH DEGIIJKK MNNHOPP RRHSTT TSTs UX, the letters B, D, G occur in spelling only after M, N, M, B, N, D, AIN. Their use is not consistent with orthography on the phonemic principle because the sounds p, t, k are automatically voiced, shifting in pronunciation to b, d, respectively, after nasal consonants. Phonology In all dialects of Purépecha, the stress accent is phonemic. As in Spanish orthography, a stressed syllable is indicated by the acute accent. Minimal pairs are formed. Karani, right. Karani, fly. P, Amani, rapid. P, Amani, touch a liquid. Usually, the second syllable of the word is stressed, but occasionally, it is the first. The phonemic inventory of the Tarecuado dialect is presented below. It differs from other dialects in having a velar nasal phoneme. The table of phonemes uses the International Phonetic Alphabet IPA, and also gives the alphabet equivalents, enclosed in angle brackets, if it is not obvious. Vowels The two mid-vowels e, are uncommon, especially the latter. The high central vowel is almost always after s, or ts, and is then almost an allophone of i. The final vowel of a word is usually whispered or deleted except before a pause. Vowel clusters are very rare except for sequences that are generated by adding grammatical suffixes like the plural hcha or icha, the copula i, or the genitive iri. Vowel clusters are usually not the first two sounds of a word. Consonants Purépecha is one of the few languages in the Mesoamerica without a phonemic glottal stop, a distinction shared by the Wavi language and by some Nahuan languages. It lacks any laterals. L. Sounds. However, in the speech of many young speakers, the retroflex rhotic has been replaced by L. Under the influence of Spanish, there are distinct series of non-aspirated and aspirated consonants and affricate consonants. Aspiration is noted by an apostrophe. There are two rhotics. R. Sounds, one of them being retroflex. The official orthography does not have distinct representations for the four phonemes, k, k, with, j. It uses the letter i for both, i, j, and the letter u for both, u, with, but both semivowels are fairly rare. When k or k is followed by u and another vowel letter, the sequence virtually always represents the labia velar phonemes. Intervically, aspirated consonants become pre-aspirated. After nasals, they lose their aspiration entirely. Unaspirated consonants become voiced after nasals. Grammar Typology Purépecha is an agglutinative language, but sound change has led to a certain degree of fusion. It is sometimes considered a polysynthetic language because of its complex morphology and frequent long words. Unlike most other languages that are considered polysynthetic, it has no noun compounding or incorporation. The language is exclusively suffixing and has a large number of suffixes, as many as 160, and clitics. 
The verb distinguishes 13 aspects and 6 modes. The language is double marking in the typology of Johanna Nichols, as it marks grammatical relations on both the dependent phrases and phrasal heads. The language has both grammatical case and postpositions. The case system distinguishes nominative, accusative, genitive, commutative, instrumental, and locative cases, but there are also many nominal derivational affixes. Word order is flexible, and the basic word order has been described as either SVO or SOV. However, both authors note that other word orders are frequently used for pragmatic purposes such as focus or topic tracking. Nouns Nouns are inflected by the basic formula noun plus number plus case. The language distinguishes between plural and unspecified numbers, with no dedicated singular form, plurals formed by the suffix hcha, icha or cha. Kumi watsi. Fox. Kumi watsicha. Foxes. Urata. Town. Iratacha. Towns. Warhiticha tefericha maru. Some fat women. Lit. Women place fat place some. The nominative case is unmarked. The accusative case, also called the objective case, is used to mark direct and sometimes indirect objects and is marked by the suffix ni. Pedro Piasti Sunsuni. Pedro bought the pot. Pedro Pia S T Sunsuni. Pedro by PRF 3P pot act the genitive case is marked by re airy. I'm a warhidiri with you. That woman. S dog. I'm a warhiti re with you. That woman gen dog day locative case is marked by ru o. Kuntati Maria. He. LL meet him at Maria. S place. Ku nta a t Maria o. Meet Ider fut 3 ind Maria Lacte instrumental case is marked by the particle jimpo or the suffix mpu. Jurakornaniksi sakapu k. Era ma jimpo. They hid behind some big rocks. Jurakori ni equals kasi sakapu kayuri ma jimpo. Hidein f3 pl rock big one insampempori anki kuarhiwa. What will he, she work with? Ampe MPU equals re Ankikuari wa. What ins work future tense 3 SGTHE commutative case is marked by the particle jinkoni or the suffix n kuni. Apontini warhiti ma jinkoni. To sleep with a woman. Apontini warhiti ma jinkoni. Sleep inf woman 1 kamshi niwakani imankuni. I. LL go with him, her She ni wa ka equals ni ima n kuni I go fut first, second one p dem com discourse pragmatic focus on a noun or noun phrase is indicated by the clitic c. Ampezi arha pedru? What did Pedro eat? Ampe carha pedru? What foc eat prf in Pedro Corachasiati? He ate fish. I.e. Fish is what he ate. Kurucha si a teep. Fish foc eat prf 3p. Verbs. Verbs inflect for aspects and moods as well as for person and number of the subject and the object. There are also a number of suffixes expressing shape, position, or body parts that affect or are affected by the verbal action. Transitivity is manipulated by suffixes forming transitive verbs with applicative or causative meaning or intransitives with passive or inchoative meanings. Media Purepecha language programming is broadcast by the radio station XEPURAM, located in Charan, Michoacan. It is a project of the National Commission for the Development of Indigenous Peoples. Toponyms Equitio. Place of the Snakes. Queramaro. Coat of the Swamps. 
Koporo, over the big road. Kapareo, crossroads. Sinsunsan, place of hummingbirds. Zuramuato, place in Straw Hill. References External links Purepacha Swadesh List of Basic Vocabulary Words from Wiktionaries Swadesh List Appendix Field recordings of Purepacha carried out by linguist William Shipley, archived at the Berkeley Language Center The Purepacha web page from Michoacán, Mexica. In Spanish.